It seemed there was no longer anything a conservative government could do to cause it to be voted out of office. We were living in a one-party state. It is difficult to recall the shock with which we realised our alienation from the events that were taking place in front of us. Robinson's first reaction was one of spleen. There were, he said, no mitigating circumstances. The press, the voting system, the impropriety of Tory party funding, none of these could explain away the fact that the middle class in England had continued to vote Conservative because in their miserable hearts they still believed that it was in their interest to do so. Robinson began to consider what the result would mean for him. His flat would continue to deteriorate and its rent increase. He would be intimidated by vandalism and petty crime. The bus service would get worse. There would be more traffic and noise pollution and an increased risk of getting knocked down crossing the road. There would be more drunks pissing in the street when he looked out of the window and more children taking drugs on the stairs when he came home at night. His job would be at risk and subjected to interference. His income would decrease. He would drink more and less well. He would be ill more often. He would die sooner. 